How's it going, people? Well, got an old friend. <laughs> Haven't seen old Chubb in a while. They Apparently, this brewery doesn't want to make a lot, which is good. It'll keep my consumption down. Anyway, it's a virtual planetoid, as it says there. A virtual planetoid. It's like Sputnik. Apparently, just like it. So. And this is 8% alcohol. In short, it will knock your dick in the dirt if you have one. And, uh, or let's say it'll knock your entire anatomy in the dirt. How's that? I don't want to be sexist and trying to be PC here. How am I doing? <laughs> let's see, I believe. Yeah, Book of Mormon. Chapter 3. Promises to be fascinating. Let's hope. Alright. Nephites continue in wickedness. Not the Nephites. Mormon refuses to be their military leader. Well, they had that coming, didn't they? His address to future generations, because they're always talking to the future, that being now, or the 1830s, or whatever. The twelve to judge the house of Israel. I wonder what twelve that is. Is that the one in this book? Or the one in that other one over there? <laughs> I don't remember. Let's find out. Alright. One. And it came to pass... Oh, it's Ambrosia. That the Lamanites did not come to battle again until ten years more had passed away. And behold, I had employed my people, the Nephites, in preparing their lands and their arms against the time of battle. Two. And it came to pass that the Lord did say unto me, Cry unto this people, Repent ye, and come unto me, and be ye baptized already. Damn it. And build up again my church and ye shall be spared. Well, that's pretty good incentive right there, you know. Do what he says or die. That's love. Conditional, but it's love. Codependent, but it's love. Kind of scary. <laughs> um, three! And I did cry unto this people, but it was in vain, and they did not realize that it was the Lord that had spared them, and granted unto them a chance for repentance. And behold, they did harden their hearts against the Lord their God. Four. And it came to pass, in the nick of time, that, after the tenth year had passed away, making, in the whole, 360 years from the coming of Christ, the king of the Lamanites sent an epistle to me, which gave unto me to know that they were preparing to come again to battle against us. Shit, man, didn't they do that before? The Lamanites? Hey, uh, just want to let you know you can surrender because we're, uh, we're about ready to send a big-ass army your way. 
Oh, thanks. We'll, uh, we'll be ready now. Anyway, so they did the same thing again. Not that they're repeating themselves. I mean, they are, but that's not it. <laughs> yeah, they were preparing to battle against us. Five! And it came to pass. I can't wait to find out what came to pass. That I did cause my people that they should gather themselves together at the land of desolation to a city which was in the borders by the narrow pass which led into the land southward. So anyway, just you know, get your map out and you can find out where that was. All right. Totally lost one, but there it is. Six. And there we did place our armies that we might stop the armies of the Lamanites, that they might not get possession of any of our lands. Therefore, we did fortify against them with all our force. Seven. And it came to pass, just in time, that in the 361st first year, the Lamanites did come down to the city of desolation. Nice name for a city. To battle against us. And it came to pass again. Same fucking verse. That in that year we did beat them. In so much that they did return to their own lands again. Eight. And in the 362nd year, they did come down again to battle. And we did beat them again. And did slay a great number of them. And their dead were cast into the sea. Nine. And now, because of this, great thing which my people, the Nephites, had done. Do they know if they're your people? Because they don't seem to act the way you want them to. But they're your people. <sighs> they began to boast in their own strength. And began to swear before the heavens that they would avenge themselves of the blood of their brethren who had been slain <clears throat> by their enemies. Well, that's what enemies do. I mean. Okay. Ten. And they did swear by the heavens and also by the throne of God that they would go up to battle against their enemies and would cut them off from the face of the land. Eleven, but first... And it came to pass uh, 
that I, Mormon, did utterly refuse uh, from this time forth to be a commander and a leader, being something different somehow, uh, of this people because of their wickedness and abomination. Behold, I had led them, notwithstanding their wickedness, and I had led them many times to battle, and had loved them according to the love of God which was in me, with all my heart and my soul had been poured out in prayer unto my God all the day long for them. Nevertheless, it was without faith because of the hardness of their hearts. So you prayed even though you had no faith. Well, you know, he, his heart, his soul poured out and he ran out. <laughs> He's his tank topped off again. Thirteen, and thrice had I delivered them out of the hands of their enemies, and they had repented not of their sins. Fourteen, and when they had sworn by all that had been forbidden them by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that they would go up unto their enemies to battle and avenge themselves of the blood of their brethren. Behold, the voice of the Lord came unto me, saying, 15. Oh, here's a nice old chestnut for you. Vengeance is mine. Never heard that one, have you? And I will repay. And because this people repented not, after I had delivered them, behold, they shall be cut off from the face of the earth. Now you went and got him all upset. The big G is unhappy. Sixteen! And it came to pass. That'll cheer him up. <laughs> That'll cheer me up anyway. Ugh. Whoa. It's stuck. That I utterly refused to go up against mine enemies. God, much repetition here? They keep saying the same shit over and over again. And they're writing on gold. <clears throat> totally lost my place. All right. Oh, mine enemies? And I did even as the Lord had commanded me, and did stand as an idle witness. An idle witness. And, and I, we don't mean, like, idolatry. We mean idol as in, he's not going to do fucking shit. Except watch. And people like that really piss Tom Cruise off. Fortunately, it's another crazy cult. It's not this one. They're actually a little nicer in this one. It's almost a shame I'm picking on them. Because I like them. Scientology. They, they're just not very interesting, but I'll pick on them some more just because. Besides, for some reason, I do a Scientology video, and it does better. Mormon, and they're like, oh, God, that's boring, isn't it? Well, yeah. What do you think I'm doing this? All right, enough ta of this tangent. I'll get back on topic here. As soon as I find out where the fuck I was. Idle witness. To manifest unto the world. The things which I had saw and heard. According to the manifestations of the spirit. Which had testifi testified. Of things to come. 17. Therefore I write unto you Gentiles. It's like he knows Joseph Smith's going to dig this up. Even back when he was, like, not an angel yet. 
<laughs> but he was a prophet, so he knew everything still. So it makes perfect fucking sense if you don't think about it. Unfortunately, I do. So it does. All right. Yeah, uh, I write unto you Gentiles, and also unto you, House of Israel. When the work shall commence, that ye shall be about to prepare to return to the land of your inheritance. 18. Yea, behold, I write unto all the ends of the earth, yea, unto you, twelve tribes of Israel, who shall be judged according to your works by the twelve whom Jesus chose to be his disciple in the land of Jerusalem. All right, the first apostles, those twelve. Okay. Nineteen. And I write also unto the remnant of this people, who shall also be judged by the twelve whom Jesus chose in this land. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? And they shall be judged by the other twelve whom Jesus chose in the land of Jerusalem. What, the other, the, the second twelve will be judged by the first twelve? See, it's all getting a little confusing. Okay. Twenty! And these things doth the Spirit manifest unto me? Therefore, I write unto you all. You could have just said that and saved a lot of gold. And for this cause I write unto you, that ye may know that ye must all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Yea, every soul who belongs to the whole human family of Adam. And ye, ye must stand to be judged of your works, whether they be good or evil. 21. And also that ye may believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, which ye shall have among you, and also that the Jews, <coughs> the covenant people of the Lord, shall have other witnesses besides him whom they saw and heard, that Jesus, whom they slew, was there, was the very Christ and the very God. He's God. 22. And I would that I could persuade all ends of the earth to repent and prepare to stand before the judgment seat of, of Christ. And that's it for three. And it's uh, probably not a good video, but I'll put it up anyway. Let's do some DNC. This wasn't very interesting. But, let's see. To get better. I can cheat a little bit and look ahead. Uh, ooh. Maybe, oh no, I haven't, I haven't highlighted this far. I see a few that came to pass. I don't know. We'll find out. It's short. I might do two next. Anyway, let's do some DNC. And let me know if you learned anything. So I might get a little smarter. Although Scientology is promising me bonus IQ points. And they want me to take a tour of their new place. I don't know. Only if I can take video. Anyway, I'll let you know. Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. And let's do some DNC. Just because.